Jones got the first down. Lynch outside, 50, he's got a blocker. Lynch 40, Lynch far sideline, 30, he's on his way. Lynch 10-5, touchdown, touchdown Huskies. Hello, my name is Matt Littman. We're here on another episode of Lunch with Lynch. Hi, I'm Jordan Lynch. NIU quarterback and Heisman hopeful. We're going to start here with uh, some questions for you, Jordan, and let's just go over it. Uh, first off, we're going to start off with uh, some of our game action from this past week against Idaho. Um, you had uh, 176 rushing yards, 152 passing yards, and five combined touchdowns. Just talk about uh, when you're clicking like that, what does it feel like? It feels good. Um... I would have to, you know, give the credit to Coach Cole. He actually, you know, got me in rhythm early um, with throwing and running. And, uh, you know, it, it goes to show you the playmakers we have around around us kind of, you know, clears the ways for me at times. And uh, all the credit goes to the offensive line. You know, we've had uh, the emergence of uh, Cameron Stingley. He's really come to play the first two games. It sort of added a, another component to the offense. Last week he had uh, 13 carries for 63 yards and one touchdown. Tell us a little bit about his emergence and if you've sort of seen this coming. Yeah, um, you know, just being being around Cam Stingley in the summertime and fall camp, he really came a long way um, from last year. And, you know, he's one of those backs that, you know, he, he's fun to watch. I know when I hand the ball off, I kind of watch him at times. And, you know, he's a big back. He plays with passion. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a true competitor and a team player. With the success of the offense, on the other side of the ball, the defense had its, set its own record with nine sacks in the game, um, led by uh, senior Joe Windsor and true, true sophomore Perez Ford with two sacks. Can you sort of tell us what it's like when you get to see those guys be successful? Yeah, just uh, standing on the sidelines, they're, they're a fun group to watch. You know, they're fast, they're physical, and uh, they pride themselves on getting sacks and turnovers. And um, Like I said, they're, they're fun to watch and they play with that passion. Mm -hmm. You know, some uh, little, oh, can I get a pump of that? Got a pump? Please. Thank you. Always like to be sanitary here at Lunch with Lynch. By the way, once again, I have to plug Marge's Garden Care and JoJo's Balloon and Party Center. Anyways, let's get back to uh, let's get back to the Idaho game real briefly. They're calling it the leap. It's uh, it's a play where um, you try to hurdle someone and yet uh, you were tackled. And I heard you were sort of uh, touting your exploits. Colin Kaepernick, you are not, my friend. Tell us a little bit about this leap. Well, it was, uh, it was a zone option read, and I kind of got to the outside, and you know, there's a couple guys there, and they've been hitting me low all game, and you know, I decided to you know, test my faith and <laughs> give it a leap. And uh, you know, it didn't work out too well. <laughs> well. You know, let's talk now about the Eastern Illinois game. Um, you know, they, they're they 3-0. They beat San Diego State University 40-19. Um, I know you're early on in your game preparation for them, but just tell us about the, the difficulties that they're going to give us a, give um, Northern Illinois as a team. Yeah, from what I saw on film, I mean, they went into San Diego State and they beat them by three scores. Um, they're, they're a tough team. They play with passion. Looks like they pride themselves on uh, some turnovers on the defensive side of the ball. And, uh, you know, it should be a great challenge for our offense. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot on the line this Saturday against Eastern Illinois as Northern Illinois has a 21-game home streak, winning streak. Um, it's looking like it's going to be a sellout crowd. It's going to be an electric atmosphere, won't it? Yes, it should be fun. Okay, now we're going to um, go into a little bit more personal questions. First off, um, it, who would your celebrity crush be? Celebrity crush? I would have to say Bob Cole. Um, you can check him out at Coach Bob Cole at Twitter and um, hashtag Bob Cole. He's a man of your own heart, is he not? Yeah, uh, he's great. Now, uh, we have, I, there's sort of a legend, a lore um, about. You, you, you currently live with uh, Tyler Luce, uh, Jared Volk, and Matt Crumple, but there used to be a fourth roommate. Can you tell us a little bit about, I believe his name was Tillman. Yes, um, Tillman, my dog, he's an English Bulldog. I got him early in December in 2013, right after the MAC championship game. And you know, Tillman's currently not with us at home. He's, uh, he's, he's living with my parents right now during the season and 
you know, we think about them all day, and uh, you know, sometimes we even Skype with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. It, the separation anxiety must be di very difficult. Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, I'm sorry. So I bring up a personal subject. The last question, we're going to bring in a new um, sort of segment into play here, and that is um, the uh, Ask Jordan Lynch segment. It's, it's where our fans get to interact with you. Um, you can uh, ask your questions at hashtag Ask Lynch. Um, this week's winner is uh, Kevin Lynch. Oh. Do you, do you know Kevin? Yes, Kevin's my cousin. Okay, well... A lot of family pride on the line right here with this question. If you were yogurt, would you be fruit at the bottom or pre-stirred? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means either, but I would have to say uh, pre-stirred. Because <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, Kevin, uh, I, hope, uh, I hope that's a good enough answer for you. Anyways, uh, that's another episode of Lunch with Lynch just been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Let's do it again some other time. Let's do it again. Till next time. Cheers. A second and goal to go.